Happy Friday, fourth and fifth grade. This is for reading day 19. It's Friday. All right, guys, so this is called Exchange Student. We're going to be reading this and then answering the questions. It says, I have the sign, said Lee. I will hold it up. Kiri will know who, are, who we are because I have a sign. Lee was at the airport. Lee and our mother were picking up Kiri. Kiri was an exchange student. She was from New Zealand. She was going to stay with Lee and her family. She would stay for the summer. Lee saw a girl come out of the gate. The girl smiled when she saw Lee's sign. She walked over to Lee. Hi, said the girl. I am Kiri. I am your exchange student. I have come to stay with you. I will learn about the United States. I will teach you about New Zealand. We will trade or exchange some news. We will learn from each other. Kiri saw how people in the United States lived. Both Lee and Kiri learned new things. Kiri learned the name of the national bird of the United States. The bird is a bald eagle. She liked the bald eagle's white head. Lee learned the name of the national bird of New Zealand. The bird is the kiwi. The kiwi cannot fly. It has a long bill. The bird's nostrils are on the top of the bill. The kiwi lays only one egg. The egg is large. It is about one-third of the mother's weight. Kiri and Lee learned how their countries are alike. Both of their countries have geysters. A geyster is a special spring. The spring shoots streams of boiling water and steam into the air. Only three countries have geysters. The United States have... Ha the United States has geysters. New Zealand has geysters. Iceland has geysters. Lee learned that people called the Moros Morosis settled New Zealand. They came along they came long ago. They came in boats. Probably they came before 1000 AD. Before the Morosis of the mammals on New Zealand could fly, this was because the only mammals were bats. Non-flying mammals like rats, cats, and sheep came with people. Now, guys, I may have said some of the words wrong. That's okay. I, I'm not used to those words. So, all right, number one. When you exchange, some, exchange something, you keep it, learn something about it, stay for a summer, or trade it. Number two. What is not true about the national bird of New Zealand? It is called the kiwi. It can fly. It lays one egg, or it has nostrils at the tip of its nose. So go back to the passage and figure out what is not correct. Number three. This story is mainly about birds, New Zealand, Lee and an, Lee and an exchange student, or what Kiri learned. Number four. How did mammals that cannot fly get to New Zealand? They swam to New Zealand. People brought them to New Zealand. They fell out of an airplane. The mammals grew there after people came. So you will have to look back in the passage and see, find that answer. All right, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. This is for day 19. Bye, guys.